So after you've unboxed and unwrapped your Mother Care Journey Special Edition, here's what you should have. A wheel set, a chassis and brake bar, a bumper bar, an apron, a carry cut, two canopies, maxi cozy car seat adapters, a weather shield, a foot muff, and a seat unit. First we're going to get our brake bar and our chassis and we're going to attach them both. So you want to make sure that the brake bar is facing outward and we're going to slide it on and wait till it clicks and once it's clicked in it's secure. Next we're going to open up the chassis so there are sliders on either side. One is secured by a button. You're going to push that button in, slide the sliders back and open up the chassis. We're going to attach our wheels. There's no particular order, but we must ensure they're clicked in securely. This Mother Car Journey Special Edition is equipped with a springy suspension, making this the most comfortable and luxurious Mother Car Journey yet. The handlebars are fully adjustable, perfect for whatever height you are. Next, I recommend you to apply the brake so we can move on to adding the carry cut. We're not going to attach the carry cut immediately onto the chassis. We're going to secure the base of the carry cut into position. And we do that by unzipping the carry cut liner, grabbing the bars inside, and pushing them up into their secure positions. And you can do this by pulling on that nice strap that I'm not pulling on. I opted to do it the hard way. Once you hear them click into place on both sides, the base is secure. We redo the zips, and now it's time to add the carry cut onto the chassis. Next, take your bumper bar and attach it to the carry cut. You'll hear it click in on both sides. It makes for carrying the carry cut a whole lot easier. Bring your chassis back and slot the carry cut into its receivers on the chassis. They're located on both sides of the chassis, right in the middle. You'll know the carry cut is installed facing the correct direction when it's slightly slanted towards you. And then we're going to grab our apron. It's very simple to attach. It's attached by a zip, so it's a matter of attaching the zip to the carry cut in front of the bumper bar and zipping around. Next we're going to attach the carry cut canopy. You'll know it's the correct canopy if it successfully attaches to the apron. Attaching the canopy is easy. There are two indicators on each side of the carry cut showing where the canopy needs to sit. You click them in, and then it's a matter of finding the male end of the zip on the canopy, which we're then going to attach to the carry cut. From the inside of the canopy, we're going to zip all the way around to the opposite side. And lastly, we're going to attach the apron to the canopy by the poppers. And we'll do that on both sides. At the back of the canopy, there's a netted ventilation panel to give your baby extra air when needed. When your child is approximately 9 months, you will be installing the seat unit. This can be fitted facing forward or in the rear facing position. I'm first going to install it in the rear facing position. The unit slides easily into the allotted slots, and once you hear that click, it's secure. The seat unit is fully adjustable, depending on your child's comfort or your child's needs. Next you'll want to remove the bumper bar which was previously on your carry cut. Installing it onto the seat unit is easy. There are two allotted slots. Slide it into them and they'll click into place. Next we're going to grab our second canopy. Installing it is much the same as how we install the canopy on the carry cut. There are guides on the side of the seat unit. Snap the canopy arms onto the guides. Find the zip, pair the zips and zip right around to the opposite side. For extra protection against the elements, this canopy is extendable. You can extend it by undoing the zip on the outside of the canopy. When the time comes when your child wants to face the world, changing the seat unit into the forward facing position is very easy. There are two sliders on both sides of the seat unit. Lift them and simply turn the seat around. The seat unit canopy is also equipped with a peep window. 
perfect for when your child is sitting in the forward facing position. During the colder months of the year, which is the majority of the months in Ireland, you'll want to install the foot muff. First, remove the bumper bar for ease. Next, undo the seatbelt fasteners and remove the protective padding for the legs. You remove the protective padding by twisting the seatbelt receiver sideways and pushing it through the hole. We then have to uncouple the first shoulder and waist belt. Push the locking mechanism together and push through the half moon shaped hole of the shoulder belt. Then remove the shoulder protective padding which pops right off. Place the cozy toe into position and pull the belt receiver through the bottom hole. Remember, twist and pull through. Next, grab your first shoulder strap and push it through the hole most relevant for your child's size. Then you push the waist strap through the vertical hole in the side of the cozy toe. Do this on both sides and recouple the waist and shoulder belts. For your child's comfort, pop the shoulder padding back on on both sides. Fit the bumper bar back into its slots and zip the cozy toe up on both sides. Folding the mother care journey special edition cannot be easier and it's oddly satisfying. You'll see sliders on both sides of the chassis with a grey safety button on one side. Push the button and pull the sliders towards you. You'll see a handle on top of the basket. Lift the chassis by that handle. Other features of this new mother care journey include adjustments to the front wheels. They can be set to a fixed position or they can move freely depending on your terrain and obstacles. They can be fixed by pushing on the grey button on top of the front two wheels. They then can be released by pushing on that very same grey button. The bag and basket can also be removed. Do this by finding the fasteners located all around the bottom of the chassis. Release them and undo the velcro straps which hold the bag onto the chassis. If you have already purchased this pushchair, happy parenting! Don't forget there's a two year mother care guarantee on this item, with T's and C's applying.